I don't know why you're calling Smash the Dark Side, but yeah, okay. I don't know. Um, well, compared to Mario, or not Mario Kart, uh, Rocket League. <laughs> compared to Rocket League. I don't know, I man. I guess Rocket League's the dark Rock side. Rocket League is Epic Games, so yeah, they are, so. they are, they are the Death Star of of video games. I let's suppose, just be, I, let's just be honest. I suppose so. They, yeah. they, they gave the world, uh, the the curse the that curse. is <laughs> that is Fortnite. That is Fortnite, yeah, yeah, they did. I suppose that is the dark side. <laughs> All right. So the next matchup is going to be Sam and I mean uh, Dom, and I'm definitely going to get this man's name rather than call him, you know, Mario or something the whole yeah. game. Ian. Ian. So it's going to be Dom versus Ian. And uh, like we said, we have, we've never. I, I don't think we've ever played Ian before. Uh, if we have, I don't remember what character he picks. So it'll be a reveal for all of us to see what character he goes with. Uh, looks like Sephiroth. Oh, this is an epic matchup. Look at this. Two absolutely iconic villains. Sephiroth more so. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, and so we got Dom S. Kazuya against Ian, the Sephiroth main so the, from Apopka. The demon versus the, the angel. Kazuya technically a demon, or is he like fused the demon? I, I don't know his lore, so I don't, I don't actually know the... Kazi, uh, backstory here. Oh, just just watch the Smash trailer for him, and yeah. that'll be it. And in the that, Smash that, trailer, he does stuff like that. Yeah. Which I mean, that'll that'll do it. Absolutely annihilated Sephiroth's oh, first stock. Shout out to uh, Ocarina of Time, the uh, Gerudo Valley theme. Here we go. Or Gerudo, whatever however you want to pronounce it. Oh, Kazuya or Dom knew he was gonna throw out a move there, and so he yeah. super armored through the the. Side B from Sephiroth. That could have been nice. Oh, that was a that was a good avoidance of that. Um, Dom approaching. He's got Sephiroth <laughs> very near kill range here. And this I choke slam will this seal the deal. Dom, still with three stocks, has Sephiroth down to his last. Oh. Dom just walking into that one. Yeah, keeps Sephiroth opting more for these these long range moves rather than. Oh man, this should be a kill for yeah, Sephiroth. Be, yep. As Dom used everything in the book to try to get back to stage. Dom's got to be careful oh, here. Oh, this, this looks like a pretty nice combo. Oh, yeah. man, I think if, if, if he went for that down smash, that would have that would have killed Dom. Would have gimped him far enough. Yeah. Here we go. This might be the momentum that Dom needs here to seal the deal. Dom looking for his spot against Ian. And Ian looking to get his team on the scoreboard. Not let this be a 3-0 a, a match point for FCS. Oh! Perfectly spaced the evasion there. And, it and turned around with an F smash. Close. One combo string for Sephiroth could could do it. Or maybe just I one move, one fully charged fireball. Oh! The reflect, the reflect. I think Dom was just trying to bait him to do it, and he did it! And Dom wins game one in style with a reflection, and the stars are now on match point to advance to the top 16. One fact about uh, Sephiroth's uh, neutral B, um, you can't, you can reflect the actual ball, but you can't reflect the ensuing explosion. So oh. you gotta be careful when you time a reflect move against it, because it can, yeah. it can, the explosion will just, will just eat through that, any uh, normal reflex. That is a very fun fact. Yeah, I've been on the on the wrong end of that, so. Yeah, not fun. This stream is not sponsored by <laughs> Arizona Arnold Palmer Light. Shout, shout out. Go ahead and sponsor us, but they're not watching. Um, shout out to. Shout out to. Oh wait, no. This this one. To Arnold Palmer himself, the creator. No, I was saying shout out to Arizona <laughs> always being ninety nine oh. cents. Oh, absolutely, yeah. They're, they're just like, they're just like, what's inflation? What yeah. is that? Yeah. Yeah. The just 150 like Costco with those chicken bakes. 
You know, I saw a video the other day of, of a guy buying a chicken bake and a hot dog, and he stuffed the hot dog inside the chicken bake and ate that. I want to wow. try it. Yeah. You know, this is a family stream. Oh, okay. Well, all right. We can't. <laughs> we can't be be saying such things. No food abominations for the family. Looks like we're still in the state striking process, hence the the Costco, the Costco uh, <laughs> discussion. <laughs> Shout out to Costco. <clears throat> also not sponsored. One can. Can we make note of the? Well, we'll make note of it after. Here we go, running it back. Same characters. Let's see the stage that Ian picked. Give himself some kind of home turf. And we're going to Smashville. A perfect, perfect stage for Sephiroth. Oh man, the lag, lag is coming in a little bit. My, yeah. uh, you really hope it's not, not going to be an issue for either of these players. We want some high quality smash in that. I, I have to say, that's an SD. Yeah. Might have, might have been the lag. Oh, great combo from Don. Uh, fantastic combo. 77%. Oh, into the, the choke, choke slam. slam. That laser almost connecting as well. Oh, I, I think Dom might want to get the... Oh! I thought he was going to go for the up B, but he just waited for the F smash. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he actually did the up B, but it took a little too long to come out. Good shield there. Well, that'll Dom with, yeah. the, with that FGC turnaround. And he's one stock away from sending the stars to top 16 of Florida. Almost good snipe there. Went just a little bit too high. That one, however, landing perfectly. Oh man, Dom Dom could end oh. could end this with an absolute savage move! He could. Or he Oh. Oh the, the choke, choke slam! slam. Yeah. Nicely done from Dom and the stars will advance to top 16 of Florida. And they will await their opponent. A quick 4-0 for the Stars, and that will be game, set, match. Man, yeah, that was kind of that was kind of fast. That that was, know. but it was satisfying. Like I'm, I, I'm not like <laughs> it was satisfying. I was what was so worried. satisfying about it? Well, I was very worried about what happened. Uh, what happened last game? So, oh, we're running it back. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I guess check the check the chat and see. Is it a lag issue? I'd, I'd hate to have another lag issue. Um, could we be seeing game three for fun? You mean, you mean set three? I mean set three. Yes, yeah, not game three. Set three. Yeah, these guys might just. There be, is no game three. I don't know. These guys might just. Be, uh, no. no, it's just. That's just dom okay. and. Okay. I mean. All right. <laughs> well. Like and follow for dom and Sam content. Uh, but no, that I mean, that, that was good to watch. It was good to see uh, our our stars back on their game after at least what I thought was a, a very shaky performance last last game. But again, I think it was a good wake wake up call for them. So I think they know not to not to play around. Play versus. Game. Play versus. That's right. Let me take a look at the bracket Play, again yes. off screen here. Okay, so Stars Advance, they'll have to face the Lords of Lightning or Spartan Smash 1, which is a team we did play. Right. Uh, referring to Spartan Smash 1. Oh. Uh, it is a team we did play in a regular season, and we beat them 4 0, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I believe we played Lords of Lightning last season, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we did. Yeah. Be yeah. interesting to see how their how their team has changed the grown as well if, if if they win. Um Yeah, let me let me actually put that on the screen again. So Yeah, look at the bottom of your screen there folks. Stars advance, they'll face Lords of Lightning or Spartan Smash one. And then 
they'll have to face. You got West Orange, RPB. They were pretty. They were pretty good last season. Not not sure about this season. Uh, we didn't play them. Uh, Fire Blast. We did. We did we play did, them. We did play Fire Blast. Yeah. Yeah. They're all right. They had some. They had some moments, but yeah, I, I think. Uh, I think that one was 4-0 as well. Yeah. Um, by the way, all these games that we're mentioning, you guys can watch the highlights of on uh, on our Twitch, on our YouTube, FCS underscore media. Um, I think Fire Blast had been the toughest opponent we faced until um, NSU University School. Not counting not counting uh, Apopka until preseason. Yeah. So Apopka is Apopka. But, right. Um, so discounting NSU, they were the, I guess they were the second hardest, the, the, the second most challenging, uh, I guess, matchup that we've had so far was Fire Blast. But yeah, we did we did and 4 4 0 I think. Uh, was either 4 0 or 4 1. Yeah. Before anyone goes anywhere, I just want to remind you this is a double header. Right after this, uh, around 5 p.m., we're going to have the FCS stars of Mario Kart facing off against the number two. Get ready for this name. Oh boy, here we go. The Joy Con Drifters. <laughs> the Joy Con Drifters. Oh. And and <laughs> what's crazy is that in the 64 teams on the bracket, that that might not even be the best name really? in that whole bracket. There's some wow. good ones. One of them is Bowser Jr.'s mom. That's literally just the name of That's the team. That's the name of the team. Just the whole team all together is one entity, and that entity is Bowser Jr.'s mom. <laughs> so they better all play as the Koopa Link. So that's just a taste of the kind of shenanigans that goes on in Mario Kart. It's a different breed of 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 gamer. Yeah. Or should I say, it's a different breed of athlete down there in uh, in Mario Kart land. So um. So uh, don't go anywhere, folks. I'm gonna we're going to leave this stream up. We're just we're just gonna have you know. We might be seeing a game three here. I mean, I keep seeing game three. We might yeah, be seeing bro, a match on. or set three here uh, with Dylan and Rats, which I hope that's not his real name. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's take a look. I think they're gonna do an exit at Jace, I suppose. Uh, yeah, Jace Isaacson. Uh, oh no. Yeah. It'd be nice to see it. But yeah, I was just saying, uh, you don't have to switch the stream or anything. It's yeah. Mario Kart is going to be right here on this stream. Um, we're not ending the stream or anything. We'll have a we'll have a standby, you know, little little graphic up. But that's it. We'll be we'll be we'll have to take a little break, set up for Mario Kart. But uh, you won't need to do anything. Just leave FCS Media on forever. <laughs> David, can you can you tell the people to follow, like, and subscribe, and comment, and do all that stuff? Yeah, Cause like, sure. Because like, if I say that out loud, it's kind of cringe. Okay, all right. Like, I'll if say I it. say, if I tell people to follow, like, subscribe, to chat, to comment, it's kind of cringe if I do it. So I want you to do it. All right. So I'm gonna encourage you guys to absolutely smash that like <laughs> button. <laughs> Complete, completely obliterate it. <laughs> follow, subscribe. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on YouTube. Instagram. Um, Instagram. I was going to say, yeah. um, you know what? We'll, we'll get a Facebook going, too. Follow Give us, us that Prime that prime subscription that, that on, uh, yeah. on on Twitch. Absolutely. We ha Yeah, Dom, Dom is Prime subscribe, uh, our own player. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's okay. kind of the stage of the program right now. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, I guess some of our Mario Kart athletes are going to do it as well. Looks like it. Uh, follow us, like us, love us. Tell your friends about us. Tell your family about us. Tell your friends' family about us. Tell, tell your teachers about tell us. Tell your pastor about us. Tell no, your pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Yeah, so. Uh, looks like, yeah, looks like uh, a pop is officially out, so. That'll be the end of that, unfortunately. I was hoping to see a match with Dylan against I mean, uh, Jace. Yeah. Would have been nice. 
Let me, let me go. Let me see the bracket and see if any of the other results are in. It is 4:30. Some of these mm -hmm. some of these matches go by pretty quick, as you just saw. So let's take a look. Okay, so Spartan Smash One did they win? They did win. So the new. Uh, <laughs> so yes, it will be the Stars versus Spartan Smash One. <laughs> Spartan Smash One. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, they I didn't won. even realize that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, that thankfully will be a team that we are familiar with. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh check me more, out. Some more came in. RPB. I told you they were pretty good. Yeah. They're the 29 seed. They yeah. beat West Orange, Orange. the yeah. four seed. Now I don't. Let me check if now, it's a which, forfeit. Which real West quick. Orange is it though? Is it West Orange one? West Orange oh, seven? It, oh, that's unfortunate. It's a forfeit win. It's a forfeit win for. Oh. Uh, for RPB, so I guess we didn't, uh, that like that doesn't actually prove anything. Uh, I guess they were too busy. But that's uh, unfortunate. That's their that's their one team. Yeah. I guess they were too busy taking care of like the other ten teams they have. Yeah, they <laughs> man, they have they, <laughs> they have, have a lot, lot of people. They have on a that, lot of on people. Their program. Okay, Olympia took care of business. They Spartan beat Smash they beat two. Spartan Smash two. That was ex I mean I, I think that was expected at least from the number one seed if they. Undefeated so far. Wow, this is one of the this is one of the tightest matchups. 14, 14 seed versus nineteen. Doral, Doral Ooh. beat Canterbury. Where are they where are they at in England? What is that all about? <laughs> <You can't>. uh, <laughs> Canterbury Cougar Smash. All right. Okay, so Doral beat them 4-0. And this The standings thing. Yeah, it was I'm just gonna keep yeah. my comments to myself. Uh, <laughs> another another team that we're definitely on the lookout for is this FPC mm -hmm. because they they have a player. Uh, I forget his name now. They have a player who competes in like the real Smash scene, like mm -hmm. the like the you know the one with like MK Leo yeah. and uh, like he goes to tournaments and stuff. So um, they have they have one guy who's a, who's an absolute stud. Uh, we're still waiting for the results of Windermere. That's another really good program, uh, both in both in Mario Kart and Smash. Um, let me check some more some more of this bracket here. Uh, Super Spartan Smash. That's Pace. Yeah. We we played them in the semifinal last season. Was that it? Yeah, we did. We did. So they were a top four team last season. They're the four they seed this season. Uh, we are interested to see the result of that game. Um, something interesting here is Southwest's number two team qualified for the playoffs, but not the number one team. That's kind of kind of interesting. interesting. This right here, the 16 versus the 17, that is the closest uh, seeding matchup. Yeah. Because there's 32 teams, so it doesn't get any closer than that. Uh, team team cha <laughs> Chaotix oh, okay. uh, from, Sonic, from Sonic. Yeah. Uh, versus the Stanton Blue Devils. So, um, wow, that's a that's a tight matchup. Olympia is gonna have to play a 16 or 17 seed. Um, so look at this. We actually, we actually are facing off against a lower seed than than Olympia is. Yeah. So, it, you know, on paper, it would be that uh, would be that that's an easier game for us. But yeah. you know, not always. It's not all on paper. That's why you play the games. So what do you what do you think about the the bracket for for the for the stars? Just um, like who we're gonna be going up against in general? Yeah, like the path because yeah, because the look, pathway. you know, yeah. if we beat Spartan Smash one, which then, is something that we should expect of our team, right? Then we play our we play RPB, HF Fire or Blast, or JHS. I've, we've never played them, so I don't know no. what they're all about. But 
All of the team, all of the teams remaining, our team except for JHS, our teams we beat. They're teams that we've beaten before. So yeah. in theory, theory, I don't want to presume, but in theory, these are all very, very winnable games for, yeah. for our players. In we we in should be advancing. Our expectation should be, uh, like from what we see now, the final four. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's some. Because then beyond, I'm trying to see beyond that. Beyond what? Well, okay. So let's say we win this one, we win the next one. Yeah, the final. I, I'm just, I'm just. The semifinal would have to be. Probably will the, be the, Olympia. Yeah, the big, the heavy hitters are Olympia, NSU, and Popka Varsity. Yeah, so the those are like the three that are on our radar. Yeah, so. Because we've never played those other teams. So that'll be yeah. So for round four, will be will be the big one. It's gonna be us most likely against one of them, right? Yep. And then down here in this bottom bottom bracket, uh, Windermere being the number two seed. That's what yep. to look out for. Um, huh? Number three seed is eight minute timeout. That's a good name. That's a good name. I wonder if it's any indication of their style of play. Like you just you just you just play for timeouts. You just stall. It's like yeah, it's they, like playing they, a soccer game and like just trying to be like, all right, we're ending, we're tying zero zero. Just yeah. <laughs> they play uh, they play Jigglypuff and they just yeah. float underneath <laughs> the stage back and forth. They for get like one hit on match. you and they just jump around. Yeah. So I guess they're one to look out for. Uh, absolutely, uh, pace. So I, I'm I'm imagining it's gonna be one of them. Could have we could have an upset. Um, yeah. We're not too familiar with so many of these guys. Oh yeah, the FPC as well is one to look out for if mm -hmm. they have a competitive player on there. Um, so it's gonna be probably one of those four, I would say. Who then we'd face if we went round four? I guess we'd face them for round five. Yep. All right. But uh, yeah, the stars will face. Spartan Smash one. Yeah. Let me just put the bracket up again. This is not a, uh, you know, it's not showing the results that happened today. Right. Uh, this was before the results happened. So, the stars advance at the bottom of your screen there, and Spartan Smash one are going up against Spartan Smash one, a team that we faced earlier in the regular season. You can watch those highlights on the YouTube page. RPB uh, caught a caught a forfeit win against West Orange, the number four seed. That's, I mean, that's a bracket buster for sure. Yeah. Uh, so the Stars will either play RPB, JHS, or the Miami Lakes Educational Center Fire Blast. I believe that's their num that's their A team, and that's a team that also the Stars played earlier in the regular season. RPB is a team that the Stars played. Last last season, uh, I think we won that one, but it was a it was a pretty tough game. Not sure what their standing is now, though. And then on the upper side of this bracket, the heavy hitters, Olympia, they won against Spartan Smash Two. We're still waiting for the result of Team Chaotix and Stanton. Uh, and then NSU against Odyssey. NSU is the team that beat the Stars earlier in the regular season. And a pop guard, the defending state champs, they're the number nine seed. So the, those three heavy hitters, Olympia, the Sharks, and a popka, I think, are in the are kind of in the in the in the background for FCS. Uh, we just got to yeah. take care of business against Spartan Smash One, a team that the Stars will uh, expect of themselves to beat for sure. So I think. That's probably all we can say for now about, about Smash. Yeah, that's it. So. Um, so we are going to transition to our Mario Kart setup. Uh, don't go anywhere. You can leave this stream on. Nothing's going to happen. We will be right back as we set up for Mario Kart. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Play versus Spring 2022 playoffs. Top 32. 
of NA East between the FCS Stars and the Joy-Con Drifters. Let's take a look at the bracket. So there at the top of your bracket on your screen, you can see the Joy-Con Drifters. They are the number two seed. They beat the Mountaineers. They advanced. And uh, the Stars beat Ashburn Road Menaces on Monday to advance to this top 32 match. Uh, the winner of this match will face the winner between the Blue Shelbys and CR30. You notice down there, there's a, there's a, a school playing against itself. You got the Drafton Dragons and the Dragon Dragons. And then the Northview Titans will be playing against the Mario Kart Falcons. This bracket is the size of the March Madness 64 team tournament, if you're familiar with college basketball. And so that semifinals on next Wednesday is the Final Four. So the Stars are two games away, two matches away from the Final Four. Let's take a look at the rosters. The Florida Christian School Stars from Miami, Florida are the number 31 seed. They won five and two in the regular season. They feature William Swindoll, Thomas Kasky, David Lopez, Devin Whiteman, Dominic Galt, and Taylor Molina. And they are coached by yours truly, Jeffrey Swindoll. Now let's take a look at their opponents. North Paulding High School from Dallas, Georgia, not Texas. They are the number two seed, and they maybe have the number one seed name in this bracket. It's debatable, though. They are the Joy-Con Drifters, and they went undefeated. They are one of the few teams that went undefeated in the regular season. Season 7 and 0. Oh. They feature Ivan Strother, Ryan Miller, Nathan Ortiz, Parker Davis, Aaron Channer, and they are coached by Scott Pittman. Now for the format. It will be a best of three set and each set will consist of six races of a team race, four versus four. The courses are randomly selected, and the score of the set will go off of the Grand Prix scoring that is featured in the game. If it is tied after the sixth race in a set, the teams will play one winner-take-all race for the set. You win two sets, you win the match. So we're getting the lobby ready. By the way, I am Jeffrey Swindoll. I am joined by my uh, co-esports coach, David Aguiar. Welcome to Mario Kart. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Glad to be here. So, uh, David, you, you haven't really been here for uh, really any of the Mario Kart season, so... No, unfortunately, um, I have not. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad to, to be here and finally get to see some of it. <laughs> so... You, Mario Kart is a very familiar game for, you yeah. know, just people who have played Nintendo games in Absolutely. their life. Yeah. Um, so, what are, what are your thoughts on playing competitive Mario Kart? Does it, and and also this is Team Mario Kart, which right. means that your right. items don't, your homing items don't lock onto your teammates. So there's actually right. that level of strategy there. So, from your experience in Mario Kart, what are your thoughts on that kind of format? Uh, well, I mean, it's definitely it's definitely different from, I guess, what the average Mario Kart player is, is used to playing, whether doing online um, or just, you know, friendlies with, with friends, whatever, playing at home. Uh, it definitely does add a bit of strategy. I think still, at, at the end of the day, Mario Kart, obviously, there's a lot of skill involved in Mario Kart, um, knowledge of the layouts of the tracks. Um, and again, there is that new level of strategy with, with the way the items interact with teams versus just like the typical free for all. Um, but there's still that bit of RNG with, with what items you get. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit RNG. Just a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I mean, Mario Kart at its heart is always going to have elements of, of randomness in it. Just, you know, in it being Mario Kart by virtue. But, uh, yeah, that whole, that whole item thing is absolutely... Not sure um, why the team is holding back their laughter right now. What, what's going know. on? It's, oh, it's <laughs> Matt from Wii Sports. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, I guess we got to throw in the towel then, huh? There's there's no there's no beating that guy. So David, why don't you hand your headset over to William real quick so we can get a quick player interview. No, no, no. You stay over there. Stay over there.
Hold on. All right, there he is. What's up, William Swindoll? Also, shout out to shout out to the one fan in the in the in the studio right now. Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So, William, we're in top 32. Last time we were on stream, you said you were low-key kind of nervous because this, this might be the farthest you've ever been in in anything in life. No, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I still stand true to that. I, I am a bit nervous. I'm also, you know, somewhat um, excited. You know, we're, we're playing the top team. We haven't played them yet. You know, they're undefeated, but they haven't played us yet, so we don't know what in, in, in hold for us or in store for us not that um so yeah i think we're prepared we've been warming up pretty hard you know sadly devin couldn't be here but you know he's playing online so we got three people in here and i'm i'm really excited you know? so william um we we've been saying to each other that we view i mean this is the number two seed they're undefeated they could be the number one seed for all we yeah. care we've been saying to each other that basically this is our grand final like we're already just playing in the grand final yeah because if we beat this team then all the other teams would be who gonna stop us now? Lower seeded. Yeah. Except you know you also, got you got the Winder Windermere Wolverines down there. So. Yeah. Also, this team has played lower seeds. Like kind of all regular season, we played top seeds every game. So um, we kind of witnessed you know the lower seed matches last like on Monday because you know we didn't like the other games where they're yeah. lower. We had a forfeit. And yeah, because the folks at home might not know that. Um, the, the matchup system is what's called the Swiss system, which is that it matches up you up against teams that also have your record. So if you're if you're four and zero like we were, yeah, it's gonna match us up against another four and zero team. So if you're you know zero and four, it's gonna match you up against an zero and four team. So yeah. you're basically only ever playing against teams that are in your standing. So what that does is it makes the records much more much more like even even though you're not playing everyone in the season yeah so yeah i think i think we're gonna we're gonna win but i i am so nervous i'm not i'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> all right man well well don't be nervous this is mario kart it's just a, it's just a children's racing game it's just rng it's just <laughs> rng <laughs> let's just let's just play rock paper scissors to settle this match <laughs> well thank you thank you David, I must go step over there to coach. So uh, you got to take the reins of the of the commentary. All right, I'll try my best. All right, stars, good luck. Yeah, I know. I just don't know what to say right now. <laughs> no, but um, I do. I do have a question since you're here. Um, since yeah. I've never, I've never seen this one before. Is our camera gonna be showing our player in the like in the highest position that our team is in, or how does that work? How does the camera work? 
Well, I, I, I'm just manually switching it here. Oh, you're just manually switching? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's no spectator mode. The only oh, gotcha. reason we're able to see this is because it's what well, they're here in person. I see. Okay. Yeah, so... Alright, so I guess we just... We just moved up to first. That was a big moment for the stars as they big picked up there. several spaces there. Yeah. Looked like someone might have exploded and fell into the sea <laughs> just now. Uh, looks like Matt from Wii Sports is living up to his name, though. William dropping the bomb! <laughs> stars look like they have spots two through four. They had, I think, they, well, they, they had first, I think, until, yeah, they lost a little bit of ground there. Stars are climbing the ranks, though. Oh, looked like someone fell off stage there. The Roy from uh, from the Joy-Con Drifters got hit by a red shell there. Yeah, it's interesting. The, the uh, opposing team kind of has Wait, the extreme. Turning wide, getting that double item. This will be huge on the last turn. Throws a red shell. Throws another one. Oh, William barely avoiding these fireballs. Oh, did he get? Oh, okay, fifth, fifth. And although the stars did not get positions one and two, they lock out three through six. Right in the middle. That's very interesting. And let's see so, the deficit now. 21-18. Okay. Reminder that this is a six-race set. Right. So that's very interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, I've just I've been kind of contemplating on how the on how the team, uh, the whole team thing kind of yeah. works. Now I have a little bit better understanding now that I, now that I see it. Right. So really, because you get you get a team to score, it's cumulative for for your team. But right. it's still better to have. It seems from what I just saw, it's still better to have first and second place, even if the rest of your team is, is, is yeah. dead last. If you get first and second, you will have more points. The, have, thing, yeah. the thing is, uh, over over time, it's not like you're always, you can't always bank on that. Right. But yeah, we always say we, we want two people on the podium. Right. Yeah. But uh, we're going to get back to the action here. Very interesting how that works, though. So this is one of the new DLC maps. Yes, it is. I was just playing this the other day. Uh, you, you can see that narrow passage there. There aren't many items for the players to pick up. Nope. It's also a very dangerous uh, spot because when the items do start coming out, there's not really a lot to... not really much of a place to run. Yeah, you saw there... If you go far enough off into the snow, even if you're not off stage, it'll it'll uh, lack it to you back to the, to the yeah. stage, and you lose you lose two coins. And that player, bomb was ooh, brutally that placed there for that, Thomas. That's, that's, He's way off stage. Yeah, He's gonna have to off. fall off. That was a great oh. moment for the Joy-Con Drifters. Yeah. Still pretty even though. I mean, they have uh, they have a player pretty far in first, but. Yep. We've got we've got someone coming up in second, second and third, and fourth. It's Tommy just picked up a great double item. He got the golden mushroom the and now the blue shell. Yep. And he's sending it forward. And the stars are going to try to climb the ranks here. Waluigi got hit by it. William going for that double. Picks it up. This will be crucial. He's in fourth yep. place here. Gets hit by some red shells. Yeah. Uh, uh, green shells. Well, Tommy in fourth place now. Got that banana. Person behind him had a mushroom, though. Hit the cut. Looks like the Joy-Con Drifters will lock out the podium this time. Yeah. Hmm. 31-47 is the score after two races. Still very tight. Again, it is best of six, right? So, another interesting thing. Um, it is 
always random. It's not like it's not like in Smash where you where you basically take turns picking and and, and banning. So you really never know what you're gonna get. I'm sure everyone. I'm sure everyone has their favorite sages, as you know, as do I. I'm sure. I'm sure you do. So, right. Speaking of, I'm I'm quite a bit of fan of the double dash stages. <laughs> <laughs> that was my that was my Mario Kart heyday was double dash. I always played the snot in that game. <laughs> Looks like our, our, our stars got a, got a banana uh, knockout there. So. That race two was, was a bit of a banana in there, yeah. in, there in this set, though. <laughs> this game, a lot closer right now. Yeah. There's a little bit more space, less chaos. Yeah, it's a real tight cluster, this one. It's kind of hard to see who really has. I mean, they, they do have the podium right now, but not by oh, much. Ooh, a skill a shot there from yeah. behind. Or from ahead. To, to the behind with, uh, with a green shell. Thomas okay, yep. picked up some good items there in that cave. That's yes in the second. Thomas opting to go bottom. He's still in second place. Yeah. That red shield, knowing knowing that it was his teammate actually, so that's why yeah. he didn't use his uh his item. Wow, three red shells and three red shells, and that will move Thomas up into first place. William now in second place. Gonna have to go for the ultra wide here so we can get the. William pulls through with the draft. He'll be able to cut across with this mushroom here. A very important shortcut. Good stuff from William. Perfectly done on that shortcut. He's gonna pick up the double item here. He's gonna be very close uh, to the first place. Stars moving up into moving the first. Up, it's a first. Looks like William did hit that Waluigi yep. with the banana. But look at that. <laughs> look how fast oh. it changed. Look how yeah. tight this game is. In a, in a split second. William had just one alteration on the turn, and now he's in eighth. Yeah. Now we're down to. Tommy's going to have to do some work with this boomerang here. Stars fell a bit in the spots there. All right, another good win for FCS. And <laughs> the Stars get first place for the second race in a row there. Fantastic. 45-33. We could very well be seeing uh, set three for sure. FCS is saying it's not over yet. They've still got spirit. They're not going to let themselves be, be <laughs> crushed. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to see it. looking to extend their lead. Put the set out of reach as the Joy-Con Drifters did in the last few games. This yeah, is this the third of six races, so we're right before the halfway point. Yeah. This set being um, 
pretty much an exact opposite, actually, of what happened last time. So hopefully FCS can hang on to this. So far, so far they are. With a good lead at first. They go. Players gotta focus on picking up coins because they boost yeah. the overall stats. Yeah, absolutely. So William here on zero coins. Trying to make a difference now. I think that's something that um, I think more and more casual Mario Kart players, I think, fail to recognize is how important yeah. having those 10 coins is. Yeah, like what, what are coins? Like who cares? Yeah. <laughs> I think because coins are so, uh, they're they're subtle. Coins are very subtle. Yeah. They're slept on. Yeah, they're they're, they're slept on. They, they really are subtle though. Like like, they're not flashy. You don't get you don't get a, a cool item by picking up a coin. You know? Look that was at, a very nice skill shot. Look at, look at the map. Look at how you can barely even see the faces of the characters I know, on the track because so they're close. so close to each other. And so he, William gets a double item. That's the kind of edge that you need. Yeah. William pushing through. Oh, that was Thomas a lands a clutch. Beautiful. Green shell. Beautiful green shell. <laughs> you can right. hear the excitement of the players there. <laughs> One, two, and four, seven. five. That's the best result for the Stars in this match. Yeah. And that might have done it. Very well might have done Look it. Look at I that. Think. Nearly a 30-point difference. I think that's the biggest lead um, all game so far. But yeah, I, I what think... What was the score? 40, 74, oh, 49? 40... What was it? 40, 49 or 42? <laughs> what was the score? Okay. Okay. Don't worry about it. We'll fix it. We go, we're on uh, Rainbow Road 64. This is another one of the tracks where yep. uh, the track evolves. It's one long course. Yeah. It's, not, yeah. it's not three uh, uniform laps. kinds of courses where all the laps are different you can't play those mind games or condition players right uh, of where you might drive the angle you might take and so because each lap is different each lap is different so, so every every minute is different every second. yeah it, it takes that marathon form and, uh, meanwhile william in first oh, place unfortunately goes off stage there Oh, William hits someone and protects himself from the red shell, staying in the podium spots. Missed out on the item. Yeah. So much drafting because the players are so close to each other. Look yeah. at this. This item spot is going to be critical. William might have actually pushed that DK out of the item slots. William. Coming through. Still a super, super tight race. Look at this. It's going to be a photo finish here. Thomas trying to stay in the podium spots. Sneak did he get it? it? Yes, did, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> Thomas leading the, the driver's standings. But the constructor standings, 87 69. That was the fourth race? Yeah, this is race number five now. 
And like I said, once once you put yourself into a, a decent lead, it's really hard. To, it's really hard for the team behind to come back because yeah. it's not like you can just shut the other team out. Like okay, right. they get zero points. Everyone is going to get points, even yeah. if you get five through five through eight, yeah. they still pick up points. Yeah. So that that war of attrition, it's uh, it's hard to surmount. Yeah. Get red oh, shelled into the abyss. Yeah, that's that's He'll a lose tough two points. Spot. He'll fall all the way back to eighth. Tough spot to be. One of the most brutal things that can happen in Mario Kart. Yeah. They're doing well. Pick up some points. Two away. Boy, I'm gonna boost through the donut. Boost the donut. Yep. Got that item at the tail end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, will that hit? Oh, Could this hit Matt? I don't think it's gonna hit Matt. Yeah, he makes it to the end. Yeah. Just out of range of that red shell. Bad red shell. Boy, I'm trying to pick up another red, another double item. William avoiding the blue oh. shell. Here goes William to get the double item. Might be the difference. Oh, unfortunate that. Yeah, that drifting mistake costing him uh, double places. Here we go. The items are gonna have to come into play for the stars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the red shell. Devastating. William's gonna steal an item here with the boot and throw a red shell. These red shells will not hit his own teammates. Which again at this at this stage the, the point is just trying to keep the lead. So any little any little placing that they can squeeze out. So let's see the score. Although yeah, that, that was one of the That one was pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay. 101 to 94. So FCS Much still closer. Hanging on to a lead. FCS hanging on. Yeah. We need a podium. Let's go. So we're going to Dragon Drift Way. All right. Uh, a personal favorite for William, I can tell you that much. This is the final race. FCS trying to keep their playoff hopes, hopes alive. They do have the lead. See how tight the track is here. Yeah. Top spots. Yep. Green shell cycles through the double item. He gets a coin and a banana. Good, oh, yeah. banana. good, good bite of the banana, but it did yeah. protect him, keeping him in the lead here. You saw how he drove in front of the Roy there yeah. to yeah. protect himself from being hit by that red shell had it been locked onto him. It's a very consequential item. Yes, it is, especially with the teams. Oh man, oh, that's bounce. a janky bounce there off of the stage. Yeah. Still hanging in there with Wii Sports Matt. 
double item now. See what he can get. It's just oh, a yeah, mushroom. Nice little shortcut. He all across the middle, and that's costly because he ends up on costly. the grass. Oh. Get the shortcut, shortcut here. Yeah. He does have the blooper or uh, mushroom to get get the blooper out of the way. Oh. Red shell, yeah, unfortunate red because shells, it's right yeah. over the ramp. Didn't have enough momentum to get the jump boost. And this is gonna have to be an item clutch tough. moment here. Yeah. William picks up red shell and the star. The star. William into the podium Putting spots. Him on podium. Let's see the Will score. I have enough? no idea. I was, I'm not sure it's going to oh, be enough. It's going to be really close. Uh, 113 to 121. And that will be the win for the Joy-Con Drifters. Let's close it out, David. Yeah. Well, it's been a long, uh, long day at esports. Doubleheader. Yes, the yes, the uh, Mario Kart stars will uh, be eliminated by the Joy-Con Drifters, the number two seed. Unfortunately. Uh, was a great season. Tough moment for us all right now. Yeah. So uh, thank you guys for watching. We will be back on Friday for Rocket League and Smash. Uh, we will see you then at 4 p.m. Goodbye. God bless you.